First, make sure you get enough propane. Woo! Get her warming up. What you doing? Well, right now I'm just cleaning the grill, getting it ready. What you using there to clean it? Just some water and a paper towel. Smells good already. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Hi, I'm Christine with Sandblast Extreme RV. Since we have an RV channel, we thought we'd show you some of, couple of our favorite meals to cook while we're out RVing. As you can tell, we're not in our RV. We're in our backyard, but that's okay. So first you want to start out with your grill clean. I've already uh, just rinsed it off. You probably keep your grill clean, but we keep ours in our RV when we're not using it. So I like to clean it off with a little bit of water and then re um, apply oil to it. I, I like to use olive oil. Some people like avocado oil. You want oils that are work good with a uh, high temperature. We're gonna start out with the Blackstone on low. And what we're, what we're cooking right now, which you may have seen in a couple of our other videos, but I'm gonna show you the right way how to cook it because Tim's just randomly filmed me before. We're cooking Philly cheesesteak. So what you wanna buy is shaved beef i i bought this at target they have this type of beef at the supermarket you might have to ask your um butcher where to find it but it's usually where all the pre-packaged meat is um, and then provolone cheese we prefer ours on hoagie rolls which i buy these at target as well i like to season it with montreal steak seasoning and then you need a little bit of butter I'm not going to use all this butter <laughs> and some oil so let's start out with the, the meat let's start out with the meat get that going and then we'll do the bread I haven't cooked this in a while so I'm trying to remember <laughs> put down a little bit of oil and a little butter before you put your meat in I'm just gonna dump this in my tongs. Just make sure you don't get that thing in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Sorry, I was trying to stay quiet over here. Then you can start I'm on the camera. Cutting it up or you can leave it. Ooh, it's almost yeah, done I already. Watch, I watched some other YouTube videos to learn the little tricks on how to do this. And then sprinkle it with a little bit of seasoning. Just to give it some flavor. I like to use this on all of our beef. Typically, but not already seasoned meat. Probably easier with two of these. I should have brought my other one, but I like to flip it with this one. So I didn't bring out the other tool. But speaking of that, I will give you one tip. Make sure that you have everything that you need when you start cooking them. Because a couple of times I forgot plates or butter and then you have to run back in your trailer and get it out when you're camping. Hold on, she forgot something. 
She told you not to forget anything. We're gonna cut the bread. Ooh. Mm, we're almost eating. So now that I told you not to forget anything, this is what I forgot to. She forgot something. Normally when we're in the trailer, I prep all this and I wasn't very good about doing that today. I You're making a video. Should have done that. That's I right. usually bring out all Ooh, the... Gotta be careful, you almost cut your hand in half. The buns, <gasps> pre-cut. Makes it easier. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna heat up some of these hoagie rolls. You just slap them down like that, huh? Can you move them around and soak up all that yummy butter? Yeah. And make sure you got enough propane. I took that thing off and shook it, so I'm... We're looking good. Fire's still on. Depending on how hot your griddle gets, you may want to turn it up. I think normally I cook with it maybe on, on medium. This seems Put like it's taking medium, longer though. than normal. Let's see. In no time. And let me Look see. Let me see. Ooh. I think that one might need more Ooh, butter. Ooh, that is golden. We're almost ready to it eat then. Probably makes this. More this has only been literally like five, ten minutes. There's no wrong or right way to do this. You can do it however you want. Oh, you can. Oh, you can butter the bread. Well, I'm just thinking it'll come out more even. <laughs> about four of these so what are you going to do with the extra meat save it save it for tomorrow yep i'm going to add a little bit more seasoning too Ooh. now that we flipped it around Ooh. Mm. these are getting done why not oh look at that golden i turned those down oh this one's getting down. burned yeah we probably want to pull those off now we could turn this grill Ooh. off no, just take them off. We'll turn that half off. I'm Ooh, she's them pulling off. them off. Once it's brown, it's probably good, but then I can start separating it. What, the meat? You make the meat a little crunchy? Yeah, sometimes I make it a little bit. But I guess it's going to get more done when I put the cheese in the back. Yeah, so what are you doing here? What's going on? So now when you want to separate it. So we're making sandwiches. Setting up how much meat you want on each sandwich. Yeah. Mmm. So, and I have to kind of push them together because of, I don't have the rectangle dome. Oh, you got to put them on a dome. What are you doing? Well, I was, I are you cooking or am I cooking? <laughs> You're cooking. You keep messing with my temperature. Whoa. Now Don't mess with cheese. her temperature. Now Jesus. you put the cheese on there. Oh. Then you squirt a little bit of water to get some steam and you put your lid on there. While that's melting, I'll put the bread on a plate. Ooh, oh, that one looks good. Yeah, I want that one. Too. I like it a little bit toasty. Take a peek. Ooh, it's already melted? Not yet. I'm going to add some more. Add some more water? Steam. Is that what happens? So yep. you're steaming it. Well, Delicious. Look at that. Can I eat some of that? I want to. I gotta eat I'm some. I'm sorry. Food. I'm starving, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, Steve. Steve's always hungry. Every time we make food, babe. Well, Steve comments. Now you got me start. Oh, cheese steak? It's pretty look at much that. Ready. It's ready. I'm ready. To... So, mm. now you take your bun. Okay. Put it on like 
that. And like that. And if you have this wide spatula like I do, you put the plate on here, scoop it up. Wow. There you go. Oh my gosh. The cheese is on the bottom. We're going to eat this right here. We're not even going in the house. We're camping. Camping? I say we sleep in the trailer tonight too, just to celebrate. We're itching. Glamis season's coming. This is one of my favorite meals in Glamis. In our next video, I'm going to experiment. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to try making meatball sandwiches on the Blackstone. Ooh. I want to eat. Which, right. Well, maybe I should cut it in half. Then. Let me see. That's what people is, usually is this, do. Now show me. On cooking shows. Let's see you eat your own cooking All here. Right. Oh, delicious. Steve's dying right it's now. It's good. Steve's one of my subscribers. Is it good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so it looks like we're gonna do meatball sandwiches on this next time. So stick around for the next video. But I gotta eat right now, so this is the end of the Philly cheesesteak. I I'm gonna grab this sucker. Oh, Steve, eat it. Oh, mm. <laughs> that is good. Good job, babe. Mm. Well, we're going to enjoy our Philly cheesesteaks. Hope you make this because your family will enjoy it too. It's pretty easy to cook on the Blackstone. Mm. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out this video for the next uh, meatball I was, video. I was looking where she was pointing.